Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a black and white diagram and converting it into a stitch pattern. Since many pictures come in colors or shades of gray, sometimes it's downright hard to switch all of the colors to a black and white diagram and removing all the color from the rest of the picture. If I go to Design Graphics Studio here and say Thumbnails, this is my daughter's best friend at a gymnastics meet and we would like to make a line drawing of this to knit in intarsia on the front of the sweater that will be a gift for her. If I use just design knit to eliminate all this in the stitch pattern section it's going to take a lot of work to do this. If I use this in a program such as Paint Shop Pro I could easily cut this out but it's downright hard and time consuming to do this. The easiest method is to use what I call the low tech method and to take a pair of scissors and just cut her out by hand and we did this now and now I have the thumbnails and this is what she would look like now. So this is the low-tech way of doing the thumbnails, but this is coming out quite nicely. We've removed a lot of the background. This has only taken us a minute to cut this around, and it would have taken me much longer to do this in PaintShop Pro or in, in Adobe Photoshop. Next, we want to convert this to a black and white image, and the easiest way to do this, simply, since we've cut this out, is to simply take a black marker and color it black. And I've done that here. I'm not going to save this. And the, this is the black and white image. After I've colored it in with a marker. And this is what we're going to use as an intarsia pattern for her sweater front. I'm going to say image type. I'm going to make sure that it's a diagram, which it is. This is for black and white images. OK. I'm going to say grid dimensions. And I want to make this 120 stitches wide to fit on the front of her sweater. And it says here 120 rows also at this tension, which is 31.5 and approximately 40 rows per 10 centimeters. OK to continue. I'm going to say preview this conversion and this is what it would look like knit up and this is this is pretty good we have a few things here that we might correct but mostly it looks just what we want so let's say OK to continue it says this setting can be saved for up to 25 files it's going to save this image and positioning of this image and it's also going to save the yarn color wool box so we'll say this yes I'm going to be knitting this on a Studio 560 and I'm going to be knitting this in Intarsia. OK to continue. And here we have our daughter's friends at a gymnast meet. And I need to take my pencil and pick up a color and, and color in a stitch or two here and there. we want to get rid of this stitch over here and I think we're pretty close to editing so this is I'm going to say file save as and I'm going to stick this in mine and I'm going to call this Shari gymnast gymnastics Okay, and so now this is a pattern ready to lay out on a sweater front. Thank you.